Hey everybody, and welcome to our live stream of No Limits 2 once again. I got Mike with me. Say hi. Hey! hey. It's, been about, it's been about two weeks since we've done this. I know. I oh. felt like bad. I like, know. I don't want to work on our Planet Coaster Park, but I do want to do the streaming. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't Maybe want to do should... any of the work, but I want the... Uh, I just want to watch other people play and, and say mean things. Got it. So are you exactly. did you pull are you watching the chat? You gotta watch the chat, bro. I'm watching the I'm watching the chat. Watch the chat, bro. Watch the chat. Two people are watching. All right. One one is me. Did you uh, announce that we're doing this on the nation? No. Oh well why Hold not? On. Do that. While you're doing that, <laughs> we're we we're running a tight ship here. While we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and ride my coaster. There we go. Oh, I remember how to make it go faster because I'm so smart. Hey, you remembered hey, a thing. I remembered a thing. The thing and the thing. Thing. So last time we were together, uh, we got sort of headed towards the mid-course break run. Uh, we really we fixed our turn. Woo! Mm -hmm. And uh, people in the chat, as more come in, let's see, make sure my uh, I'm not robot voice and that no limits. You're isn't. not. You're not robot voice. Excellent. Fantastic. Fantastic. I love how smooth this is. Ooh, look at that. Mm. That's much better than it was at <laughs> the beginning of the episode last time. It's so meaty. I really like this ride. Yeah, it's not bad. It almost rides like a roller coaster. Almost. 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 All right, so let's go and edit so, it. So yeah. uh, right up might jump in if he gets undead. Yeah, he's, he's currently dead right now. <laughs> Why did you say he's dead? He's dead. He He's dead to us. I guess. So um, I'm thinking <laughs> I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. I think we should. Uh, I know. Shut up. We should swing it and build our mid-course break run like right here. Yeah. Uh, or should we slide back under the lift and then come at it or whatever this is, the hill? Um, um, uh, give me a perspective view. I, I can't see. Okay. Can't see. Okay. Sorry. It's going to be like, all Figuring right. Figuring out me... my... So this is where we're at here. All right. Um, it would be very uh, bad aesthetically if you put a mid-course break run in your valley. Okay. So I think it needs to I think it needs to go over to the lift and sidle up next to the lift. So maybe just give it a nice little pop of airtime. Okay. Some like, medium airtime. Another like, air little hail, hit, no, hail here. Yeah. A small one, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then it jumps back up into a mm -hmm. mid course break run. All right, all right. So let's 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 get cooking on that one. Uh. The oh my god, the guy who's reading the comments has a very sexy voice. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I am not. You're you're. I'm not to. I'm not a, a object. I'm not meat. All right. Hey, I'm a person. You have part of mouth. <laughs> Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh. European, European friendly times? This is a trap for the bear says. <laughs> it's a trap. All right. So what you might want to do it's is rotate bad. your coaster so I, that you are on the grid. I already, already am. Okay. Already. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Yes. I really wish I really wish streaming was instant. Feedback. Ooh, look at that jank loop. Ooh. Or jank hill. Boop. No, it looked, it looked good. Boop. Look good, bro. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Oh my god, why do I I can't do it today. I just can't do it. I I I'm, I can't do it. Oh my god. You're all right. You're all right. No, I'm a failure. Just rough it out and then we'll fix it in post. <laughs> you can't say that all the time. <laughs> we'll fix it. <laughs> Yes, depump the crap out of it. Just keep and then start moving de -pump, the nodes around. Depump, 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 depump. Whoa! Whoop! See, that already improved it. It did. It's like it keeps you from sucking. <laughs> yes, it's the depump button. It's the keep you from sucking button. Although you can, you can over depump. Can you? Yeah, you'll oh. start to lose your. So what you end up having to do is, if you want to keep. Uh, one of your um, your shaping or like your component, you have to insert nodes until you've got like two or three in between, like the ones you already have, mm -hmm. and then you can pump it. It'll keep the shape. Mm. 
Now, I remember that flat turn. You wanted to, you wanted to go up, didn't you? Did I? I thought you did back in your. Remember, oh. you can uh, page up if you want to keep your node in the same place. Oh, good, good call on that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. We should do that. Let's page up, page up, page up, page up. Because you've got a lot of speed that you. I do. Need to call. I do. Um, come on. It, I have to push it. It won't just. I can't hold it down, and it won't just go. Uh, no. What? You just have to, what kind of jank is that? Well, if write up comes on, you can complain to him. He better, so I can bish. I need to bish. <laughs> uh, this is so, when so John lazy. finishes this, is Mike going to go in and change everything? Then Kitterly comes in and change everything, and just do it again. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's probably yeah, Kitterly's playing uh, No Limits Two right now as well. Yes, he is actually. Yeah. Hey, Geekism is here. Hey, here to... John T. <laughs> <laughs> Jeekism. Crash R. He has Jeekism. <laughs> like a Jeekle. Jeekle? Jeekle. I don't even know what that. What you're doing there. It's a type of. Um, you don't know. You're making I think it it's up. It's a type of canvas. You're making it up. No. Stop and making stuff up. Gicle. Stop making it up. Stop it. Is. Nope. Right? Nope. Nope. False. Whoa. Whoa. What does that look like on the track perspective? Our British overlord is here. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, if if you weren't here yesterday afternoon, um, Bro Nation turned into Bruv Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> it was so British. I was on Planet Coaster, and I come back in, and I can't even find the Discord because the thumbnail had changed. I was like, "What? It, why are we? What is even going on here?" I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> and it's all Jaunty's oh. fault. Is that the problem? Yeah, it's all Jaunty's fault. It's all Jaunty's fault. Jaunty, Jaunty from Jeekism. Oh yeah, Yanti. Damn it, Yanti. And then he was like, "I'm not even that British. I'm moving to Canada." It's like, yeah, but you still are. All right, are, so but... hey, where's going to be a problem here, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, no, no, actually. Oh, I think you're, I think you are okay there. Okay. I think I want it to, as it's curving, once it curves here, I do want to increase the height here to make it like a hill. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I want to pull like these some up yeah. some. Can I page up multiple? Oh, I can. Yep. Look at that. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's hot. That's so hot. I don't know how to attach a ride envelope to the train, but that has to be done in simulation anyway. What's our, what does that mean? It's the it's that pipe thing that you sometimes see um, when a roller coaster is being created and the train is being run through manually. There's like a PVC pipe uh, reach envelope that is tested so that um, people don't lose their oh, fingers or their hands. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So they have one of those in No Limits oh, as an cool. object that you can attach to the train. To make sure no one dies? To check your reach envelope, yeah. Right, right. To make sure, <laughs> again, to make sure no one dies or loses limbs. Oh, oh, oh no, control Z, control Z. Page up is your friend. Page up is your friend. Page up, page up, page up, page up. Sweet. Although I guess in in this one of these um, orthogonal views, you wouldn't be moving it. Uh, well, I guess you could still. Yeah, move no, it left you can right. move it left and right. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't, yeah. yeah, no, no. See, no, see, no, see no, what no. happened there. So you might what you might consider doing instead is increasing the amount of um, nodes in between so that you're keeping your shape instead of because you have this like flat turn and then you jump up into mm -hmm. a hill. So you might want to. Which is what I want. Yeah. I want to turn, and then I want it to go. And obviously, we'll work on the uh, roll there. I feel like yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. we need to stretch it out, though, because we are going to hit that track. Like, that's yeah, pretty Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, that turn could be lowered a little bit. So Which that you're turn? Not hitting the, the, what oh. I'm calling a flat turn, but yeah. it's obviously not a flat turn because it's rising. Right. Agreeage. <laughs> Geekism says smash that like button. Yeah. Yub tubs. <laughs> Wait, I guess I could like my own stream. There we go. So now what's happening here? 
oh, now we're going underground somehow. Oh, it, got, it, go, right. it goes down? I don't want it to do Just that. Just clips a little bit, yeah. Go up, please. Go up, please. Cool. I don't know if this is probably like the most inefficient way to build a coaster, but you know what? Hey, it's the way that you're doing it. I'm special. You are. All right, that's good. So, yeah, that could actually bump up into a, a bigger yeah. Uh, hill. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do without And also the shape. center it on your... Center on your other hill. Oh, so, so that it looks right. I see what you mean. So yeah, like drag all this. Well, you don't necessarily need to drag all of the. Just drag the the top. It's gonna deform it for a second, but you're at the least top? gonna set a center point. Yeah. Uh, how do I shift it left and right without um, moving? The um, it's uh, arrows, arrow keys, I think. Yes. I think. What is going on? But remember, it it isn't no, doing it. It's just easier to just pull it. Okay. Just pull it up. Okay. <laughs> like there that? you go. Oh, yeah. I don't want to do the whole hill. That's all right. That's all right. You're going to reshape the hill anyway. Yeah, I could pull this down and, a little bit too. And then what I would recommend is start adding in vertices in between, mm -hmm. like where you've extended that out. Cool. Add some vertices up in. No, no. Wrong Insert. Insert some vertices <laughs> up in here. Insert some vertices over there. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Now that's what I call roller coaster themed music. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, I'm gonna depump this part over here. I'm gonna stretch it out to get a basic, better shape than than uh, that. Bye, Yanti. He says, well, I would best go and not lose my job. Later, folks. Ah, he doesn't like us. He didn't stick around long enough. Yeah, well, he got us He got us to eight likes, so that's something. Oh, sweet. That's like <laughs> one more than seven. Kinderly says, or uh, Commander Santa says, Kinderly, NL2 stream when? And Kinderly says, never. <laughs> Come on, Kinderly. Hop on. God. Get on it. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Did you ever know what you were doing in the first place? Oh, God damn it, Kinderly. Mm, why you got to crush me like that, bro? Why you got to go hurting my heart? Line. This is a family <laughs> show. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> Whoa, bro. Demonetized. We don't have the goat. Oh, we don't. We are never going to be monetized again. I still think I want this to be taller, yeah? Yeah. A speed comb would be good here, I suppose. Boop. Uh, actually, probably a G-force comb, so you can see what the hell your G-forces are. Oh. Oh. So it looks like ooh, it looks ooh. like you've got it down to a science. Effect. That's right. Yeah. It's down to a science. I'm so good sure. at this. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting kind of garden hosey up in here. A little bit, but you haven't fixed your roll mode no, yet. No, so. at all. I dig that. You though. might, yeah. You might want to look uh, on top. You might be. You might not be straight. Is the problem? Mm. So your heel should be mm -hmm, straight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh no! 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 So, sh 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 oh, 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 oh. yeah. Remember, no, I am not. Rotate whole. You can rotate a combination. Yeah, of which nodes. is what I want to do. I want to rotate all of this, don't I? Yes. <clears throat> and then make straight two D, right? Yep. Look at um, me. But, Where do I want to rotate but, it from? The bottom. Wherever, yeah, wherever your pivot is. There. And I... then um, deselect your last node before you do 2D straight. Okay. It'll screw up. Okay. Shink. 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 Look at that. Cool. All right. Let's see. Whee. Whoosh. Cool. I'm going to depump the curve, though, from the top view. All right. All righty then. Let's do it. Nothing to it. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. <laughs> oh, somebody else is on. What? Wait. No. Somebody somebody hopped on, didn't they? Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, we got room right up. Come oh, yeah, in. come on. Hop on. Just join the call, y'all. He, um, his settings might be wrong. Um, <laughs> we can't. Are you talking? Because I can't you. hear nothing. You might have to change your Discord input to your microphone. Oops. I'm pretty sure you can hear us, though. I hope so. 
I hope he comes in. He's going to tell us some. He's going to tell us some things about some things. Now watch out. This guy's this guy's pretty good. This so. guy is like he's like he like helps make. He's the like program. the guy. He's like the dude. <laughs> I've never seen that movie. You've never seen that? No. That is no. one movie because I'm usually terrible with movies. That is one movie I actually have seen. Wow. Lebowski. Well, you're just better than I am, I guess. It was okay. It was... <laughs> I think I saw it at a big Lebowski like event. So I saw it in a big theater, ah. in, in an old theater in LA. Okay. Uh, he left. Aw, buddy. I'm sorry. All right. Maybe I have to tell him. Um... Come back. Come back. I'm just randomly spamming the roll nodes. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here now. So we swoop de doop down. Whoosh. 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 Oh, 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 you're not there, there yet, you guys. Ah, yeah. hey, you how's it going? It. How's it going? Hello, are you there now? I'm here. Okay, <laughs> you guys there. Good. All right. Hey, we're streaming no limits, so how how you know we got to be pretty good. Well, yeah, yeah it's the cool. best thing to stream. <laughs> <laughs> this 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 actually isn't too terrible to stream because you can get a lot done in um in a short period of time. True that, yo. Like like Planet Coaster oh, is hell to stream. Yes. <laughs> I got some G forces cooking here. Hey. Ooh. I get my noobish question, but how can I make your screen the largest of the three? I see three. Oh, screens just double click are... his screen. Do I hear trains? There it is. Yeah, you do hear do trains. Do I hear Thomas? You do. I only know that <laughs> because we were just watching that at my house. <laughs> oh, it's on all the time here, too. So, yeah, it's uh, the joys of having a toddler. They're two, they're four, <laughs> they're six, they're eight. Shunting truck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God, why don't you just marry each other? That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's a father thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My son. You know, there's far yeah, worse kids programming out there too, so it's yeah. It's I'll bad. take it. I'll I'll take it. All right. So, uh, so how am I doing here? It's not terrible. It's crap. It's horrible. Just throw it all out. <laughs> Damn it! I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> no, it's looking really good. <laughs> I knew uh, I was terrible at this game or program. Excuse me. No, there's nothing to be afraid, ashamed of here. You're doing a lot of good work and, and watching the other streams. And you just got to keep plugging it and keep working at it That's what I'm doing. and use all those tools. It's great to see using all of the GeForce comes and showing everybody how useful they are. They really are. Like, I almost forgot about them. And I was like, oh, let's just see what's cooking here. So I like my lats here are kind of out of control. So, yep. yeah, how do I uh, fix that? <laughs> Let's see if let's see if he can figure it out himself. No, of all the things, all no. the things that we've taught you, you're just supposed to tell me how to make it better. <laughs> then you learn nothing. Then you learn nothing. Nothing. No, oh, wrong way. Nee, 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 nee. Yeah, on a BNM lats, uh, like how I haven't really been on a BNM hyper. So, um, can somebody explain? Like, are there lats on a BNM hyper? Minimal. It's going to depend very, if you're at either extreme end of the train, and as you're hitting certain turns, they're going a little faster above their calculated speeds. Okay. With B and M's, they will they do use trim brakes here and there to go to to get things down to what the speed should be uh, for B and M. Um, but they're now so precise that they'll use the mixture of wheels on the train with a combination of the harder nylon and the softer polyurethane wheels to control the speed for the exact time it should take from the top of the lift to the brakes. Hmm. Okay, so I just made it a lot worse. <laughs> I see. I, I done. I done. So screwed up, a a rod. You might consider is that your curve here is a little bit garden hosey. Um, you might have better luck if you straighten out the the section between the where you start your curve and then um, where you have that other curve. So you mean you know, like the, this I, part right down here? Maybe. Like make it That's like st make start. it straight straight. N no, just straight two D. That's what I meant. Yeah. Like actually use the tool. Yeah. Let's see here. No, I just made it worse. Um. Yeah, it is. It's very like back and forth, isn't it? I could... It's a bit woozy 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 woozy. All right. Enough of the technical jargon there, Mike. <laughs> 
Oh, he says use that deep pump first. On um, oh. all this. Um, yeah. All right, I'll depump it all again. Okay. So I've never ridden a BNM with lats. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to remember if Scream has lats. Okay, yeah, minor. And that just made it back to being woozy again. Yeah, okay, so, you, so my roll note here, here, yeah, is too much. Yep. Let's try and hit the no lat G-force button. It is your friend. I just made it 70-something. <laughs> it's not always yeah. your friend. It's mostly your friend. Well, occasionally. Well, you added an extra in there. There we go. Occasionally I find it adds, uh, it misinterprets it and turns your, thinks you should be inverted at that spot, and it gets kind of funny when it does that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's real funny when that happens. Ha, 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 Okay. Well, I'm going to just do this, and we can fiddle then. I actually wasn't that far off, it looks like. Yeah, it's funny when you're running at that speed how much a little a few degrees makes a difference. Oh, that already feels a lot better. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Yep. Cool. This so, yeah, one... fix this little buddy here, too. That might be a bit too... Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need one right here. Do I have well, The one? point is, I mean, we're doing a B&M right now, but in certain coasters, lats are not necessarily your enemy. Right. They can, they can That's true. shape That's what true. you want to do. I feel like right there, I should be straight throughout that, that hill part, I think. Yeah, you probably want to straighten mm -hmm. that portion out. So. so I would mean dragging all this out further, I think, yeah. Not necessarily. Oh, you could either bank the top of that or spread that out. I think I'd yeah. like... Let me see. Where am I at here? The snowed. Oops. Boop. Uh, like, I want the hill part to be straight. So what okay. happens if I do... Oh, God. I'm not... What is going on? <laughs> Zooms back and it's just all... Realizes... It's all Jake. Oh, no. What did I do? So this run you're going to have parallel to the the outbound run... Uh, yes, cool. I okay. think that's what he wants. So the easy thing here is, for now, my recommendation is don't worry about making that all line up straight as you keep going. Just rough out the hills and get them mm -hmm. kind of where you need that, and then take the whole line of them and make straight 2D. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would make sense. And the easy way to make sure that you line it up with the uh, the first row, that uh, the outbound uh, leg of that, is... Yeah, just make sure that your first, uh, the first vertex in that line and the last one are equidistant from the outbound leg, and then, mm. then after that, when you take everything else in between them and select it for make straight two D, you'll get them all lined up perfectly. All oh, right, right, right. Say what? <laughs> just keep roughing out your shape. Yep, and uh, very condition. Uh, basically, add all the hills that you want to have parallel to the. The main lift right now and don't worry about lining them up perfectly just mm -hmm. kind of freehand them for how high you, you want each one what kind of mm -hmm. speed you want over each one but don't worry about the shaping the banking um or the fact that they're not going to be perfectly parallel yet just just throw them in there get them kind of roughly where you want it okay and then you can start depumping and lining them up with the make straight tool okay because rather we than need... do each hill individually do i the whole see string of them. i see okay so we need also to consider our mid-course break run so yep. if i go to perspective I am now getting back to the lift. So would it be acceptable to put the mid-course break run in here after this hill? You can put it anywhere uh, you want to. Yeah, after it jumps back up and yeah. then it sidles Come. next to the lift. Mm -hmm. So it's going to go back up past the first drop and then we'll do the... Uh, do I the, think that would be the most attractive, yeah. Yeah. Now, I was going design. aesthetically more than whatever I want. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. cool. Let's put it on a... Ta-da. <laughs> What? My sound Your effects. Sound effects. My sound effects yeah. make these streams, bruh. So. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Edward, it's, so just kind of go for it, huh? Yeah, yeah, why not? I'm scared. You're, at this point, you're just roughing. Because I'm scared. Because you still don't have the, the whole layout done. So. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for your... Your mid course break, you'll want to uh, leave four vertices for that. The middle two will be strict. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four. 
<laughs> and the two that are strict, those are going to be the, this straight section of track that will define pretty much where your train your goes. Is. Okay. Yep. I see. The two on either side of that will be what will shape the curve going in and out. I don't know. I feel like you could have a, a curved mid-course break. <laughs> We're being legit here. <laughs> yes, mate. Good luck with that. <laughs> I swear some park in Japan has done it. Well. Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen uh, curved breaks, but not a curved mid-course break. I I'm sure the chat will. Why can't I select that something. one? There we go. Because you've got, yeah, you might want to turn off your speed comb so you can I did, actually select. I did, I did, I did, I did. Oh, sorry. I'm on the. <sighs> Why aren't you anyway. looking at my screen that I'm well, sharing? Because I'm also looking at the chat. Well, come on, bruh. I don't have two screens, all right? Well, you should. <laughs> Bish, you don't have two screens. I know. Sad face. I've got three screens. Well, you're just better than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have three screens when I was there? Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, there were behind three you. screens. So yeah. now we've got this where the mid course break run is like directly in front of the hill. Yeah. So my only my only thing is why did you obscure the the drop line? What do you mean? So you uh, see how aesthetics of that first drop? Yeah, I see you. Yeah. Yeah. So look look to your uh your front view or your left view and see how you you that line is obscuring your drop line what does that even mean so saying that visually it kind of gets in the way of the, yeah. the niceness of the first drops hanging by itself if you put other track near it right so should i i would follow the same line as the the drop so oh, you're not oh, oh, crossing oh oh against oh, oh, it. oh i see i see i see i see all right yeah all right, yeah yeah all right all right all right all right <laughs> It'd make a very wide turn at the bottom, probably wider than you need. Uh, they could put a nice little tiny speed bump air hill in there. Ooh, be fun. Ooh and an RMC uh, 90 degree. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, trying to get into the... We should ride it right now. <laughs> there we go. So more like that. And you probably don't need as long of a brake section as you've created. Okay. You can trim that later. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Should we do a ride just to save uh, some to make it a little more entertaining? Sure. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. It'll, it'll be jank as f. Oh, but... it's gonna be jank as f. F jank. <laughs> How much jank? F jank. I think we have a name for the ride. F jank. Yes. F jank <laughs> the ride. F jank three twenty five. Well, how how <laughs> tall is this thing? Uh, not three twenty five. Two something, oh. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just build it. F Jink two something. There you go. That's the name of the ride. F Jink two something. <laughs> All right. Let's freeze it. Freeze. Hope I can get up that hill to the mid course break run. Otherwise, that's going to be pretty sad. All righty. Let's go. Yes, I want to save. So let's excited. Do it. I know. It's going to be uh, the best ride ever. Best ride ever. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you notice your your hill to get into the lift is actually quite janky. Is it? Yeah. Wait, what? Well, when you take it at 4x, it's going to look weird no matter what. No, 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 no. Look at it closely next time. Wait, I have to rewrite it. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, for not knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, that's just it. You just experiment, see what works, what you like. Then if you don't like it, change it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the beauty right now is that you're, you're just working in wide open land. You're not trying to shoehorn the coaster into a specific right. built area. And that's, right. where, that's where it gets a lot more, more difficult. Mm -hmm. That's where the, the layouts actually get a lot more interesting, though. Ah, oh, the speed of that hill wasn't too bad. Yeah. Well, you saw your G's. They yeah. were floater. <gasps> <laughs> we made it! Made it! Oh, we oh, made it! Are we gonna? Uh, <laughs> all right. Wow. We made it. <laughs> so wait, what? Now, what were you saying about the um, the hill? So look at look at the look at the bend of that. What? I guess it's not that bad. That's eh, fine. Oh, it's too steep. I guess too sharp of an angle. What I think uh, you're seeing is the camera. The, 
camera head will react a bit to forces that uh, that are playing around there, and the lift hill chain speeds up faster than the station speed, so it's kind of got a mm. couple of things. So it's reacting to that. It's also doing a bit of a look ahead effect at the same time, so it makes it look worse than it really is. The easiest way to see if it's a smooth turn or not, or how much pump there is, is go into one of the rear cars and or go further back and see how do I do that? Ahead of you models. C. Uh, C. And restart it now. And V is seat. Okay. Um, you can also hit F4, and that'll allow you the control panel. That's good, right? Oh, too far. <laughs> so now reset it again. F4, F4. F4. You just have to go back like two seats, and you're good. And, and reset. reset. There you go. Yeah, so what happens is it pulls it out immediately at a faster speed. Yeah, it's fine. Because we don't have any lead in. It's just chain. Yeah, you'll okay. want to meet, match the station speed to the lift hill speed. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that was even oh, yeah, an option. Oh yeah, that's another thing you can do. Oh. So if you every Thanks. track section, if you double click on it, has options. Oh, look at that. And we in transport device for this one. Transport device speed. Yeah, so that's the default speed. Looks like you haven't touched it yet. No, I don't know what my lift hill speed is. <laughs> Let's see. Don't it's twelve point nine seven two. Oh, that's right, because you're trying to go up faster on the left side. So I remember you sped that up. So you have a couple of options here, because uh, normally you wouldn't have a transfer section, you know, advancing trains in <laughs> at that kind of speed, <laughs> into min lift hill speed. So what you can do instead to help you out, that'll help smooth this whole process out. Um, for one, put in more normal speed for the station, which will probably be around six miles an hour. <laughs> twelve is just a bit too much. Just a bit too much. <laughs> uh, now click that. Go back into that screen, and yeah. then under you know, transport device, hit the check mark next to launch. Uh -huh. And now put your lift hill speed in at max speed. Yeah, oh. it's sixty-two. <laughs> <laughs> twelve point. Needs the is chain. Just twelve. I'll twelve is fine. Twelve, 12 is, is fine. fine. Okay. And then um, what you probably want to do for your acceleration to make it a little gentler. Because point eight is kind of jarring. Uh, yeah. I put that down to point three is usually what I go with for a gentler start. Anything else before uh, I close this window for the seventeenth time? <laughs> no, you're good. Time. That's good. Yep. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> and then on the lift hill, yes. I'll show you one other thing to do here. Is um, the acceleration is up high at the point five to make it a bit of a smoother transition, so it's less jarring as well. Considering that your train's not going at that speed yet, drop that down to. Well, it's a chain lift, so as soon as it hits, it's going to get to that full speed. Um, drop it to, like, 0.2. 0.2. That'll make it speed up slower, and hopefully that'll all result in a train that starts to leave the station faster than it would otherwise enter, and a smoother transition onto the lift hill. Wow. Cool. Well, there you go. Should we give it a whirl? He's fancy. Oh, if you really want to make this lift awesome, change it from chain to uh, friction wheels. <laughs> Do you want the launched lift hill? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you just wanted to make them open the window again. <laughs> All right, freeze it. Let's see it. Oh, oh it's friction wheels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling this uh, stream is going to turn kind of janky. <laughs> <laughs> what does that look like? <laughs> All right. Yes. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the launch wheels. But hey, that's a much smoother. Uh... <laughs> let's 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 see it from uh, the back here view. Look at how much better that is. It's like yeah. we have a guy who knows what he's talking about here. Exactly. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> All right, funny. change that back to chain. Just, no, I think I like the this. I think I like the friction wheel. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, got a lot of tires to change. <laughs> experience the only BNM hyper with a friction wheel lift. World's now. first. first. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> now you sound like a proper Six Flags marketing department. <laughs> All uh, right. So what did we learn? Uh, it was going too slow at the end. Jeez. What else did we learn? Uh, that I'm not as bad as I think I am. <laughs> okay, that's that's a good lesson. I've been saying that the whole time. <laughs> okay. So if you want to make sure that your, um, your mid-course is level, 
you can double click on any one of those vertices and change the Y so that they're exact. Mm, mm, so mm, you're. Mm, 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 mm. Hold on, let me do this first. Okay. All right. You do that first. I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to put that right there. Boop. All right. Any of these <laughs> and do what? Just make it so, 100. Yeah, you can just make it a single. Go so 112. Clean 100. And yeah, now I got to do that for all of them, right? Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, you can't multi-select and change values, right? Yeah, I don't think it's going to let you do all of them. I don't think the screen will be grayed out. Um, I, I think you can for applying things like strict, though. Uh, go, try it. See if you can select a couple of nodes there. Okay. I'll bring it up. Bring the window up first. So double click on one of them just so you get the window. Okay. Okay, now select drag yeah, box. Great. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to let you do it. Okay. Okay. Some things uh, for track segments, you can do that, but the uh, individual nodes, you can't. But you, you do need to make those two strict. Yeah, that one. Strict at 100, and then this one, same thing, strict at 100. Okay. Yeah. Now, you all want a little bit of a downhill slope on that, So, but you'll control yeah. that with the last point in the, in the line. So okay. You unstricted it. That one. Yeah, just move oh, that. Oh, I undid? You don't need, yeah. Because oh. the strict ones, yeah, there you go. Okay, cool. So and now, now with the strict one, yeah, just pull the, the last point at not that one because you can't, with the strict ones, you can't actually move them in space anymore. You have to control them with the ones, on, the vertices on either side. Mm -hmm. You can slide them forward or backward along so the track. So slide line. the one that's, um, the one that after one, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yep, and between those two more silver dots or uh, nodes, you're going to, that track is perfectly straight. Cool. And then you'll use the handles on either side of that to control the curve leading into that perfectly straight section of track. So if I do that, mm -hmm. oh, oh, <laughs> got it. Cool. All right. Well, that's fancy. So now yeah. if I depump with that node selected, it's going to affect my two strict nodes, won't it? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, but it's not going to unstrict them. It's no, 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 but the, it'll change the it'll angle. It'll change the height, yeah. yeah. It may. It may, depending on how it's at. How janky my depump is, yeah. See, like, now Wink. it's going uphill. <laughs> but at the bottom of your drop, you have a kind of a weird uh, change in radius. We are mm -hmm. right there. Oh, yeah. Check out the radius comb. That, that, um, that shows you what your curves look like. I don't understand this one at all can you scale up the comb at all i don't think you can um, well it's it, the the radius overall is very wide at this point so that's why you're not seeing it very big uh i see so yeah. so the radius comb shows you changes in radius mm -hmm. it's showing you the radius at each of those particular sticks okay gotcha and if you mouse over you can see in the uh, no not on this one um but it will just give you a visual representation of what the curvature is like all right, so let's attempt to make a short little hop in, in that valley. Okay. So, so what would you do first? If you're looking for my recommendation, um, you need a little more real estate to play with, so you might want to move the block break further away. Okay. Kind of there. Really a little further than you need, but... Uh, there, we'll put it right there. There should be good, so then you can put a little, just a little quick little whoo. Woo. Woo. All right. It's a technical term, isn't See, it? A little there's woo. technical terms all yeah. over the place. Okay. Yeah, it's difficult, I know. All right, I'm going to look at the chat here real quick. There you go. I'm going to start pulling the other ones in there a little bit. Nah, there you go. Is yeah, it true you don't want the mid-course level? You want it a little bit down? Is that yes. standard practice? Okay. It's standard practice because the... The mid-course break is there to, of course, separate two sections of the track, allowing you to run multiple trains. Uh, right. In case of, in case the train ahead has not cleared for some reason, say it's valid or who knows what, uh, the train would stop. The incoming train would stop on the mid-course break. Right. When the when the track is cleared up ahead, of course, you want to get that train going again. How is it going to start rolling? Well. Gravity, gravity, so you want to slide downhill yeah. slope. You're usually not going to put friction tires on a mid-course break because the speed that the train's coming in is going to generally be too high. Now, there are some wild mouse coasters where they do come in at a slower speed and they need those tires to kind of quickly boost it up to speed again. That's mm -hmm. an exception. Um, generally speaking, though, you're going to be... The easiest thing to do is just to allow gravity to do it and you design your coaster so that from a complete stop at the, at the mid-course break, your train can still make it all the way through. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when I depumped our little whoop, it um, didn't like it, and it, it tried to delete it. So, what did I say? You should add do. more vertices. 
Yeah, mm. it'll retain the shaping and you can further refine. Cool. There's also sometimes that I will, if I'm trying to put insert a little hill like this, I'll just not depump it, or I'll just depump the the apex of that hill and not the entire mm. stretch of track because I know that the depumper is going to try and get rid of it. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't like small changes. Right. It's, it's actually similar to the smoothie smooth of um, what should we call? It? So just depump the top one. You can depump uh, the just top one. three. Oh, yeah, I say, it, you it's, can, you can just, yeah. Yeah, I do the top three. <laughs> the second deep pump kind of ruined a little bit further um <laughs> a little a little trick that i've been using when i just am doing a straight run of uh hills and valleys i'll tend to control them with, uh, with very few vertices i'll use basically two vertices that have to define the top of the hill and two for the bottom of the drop maybe three and kind of keep it simple there so that it's a lot easier to, to control the shaping and the general positioning of just the two vertices that control the top and the two that control the bottom. And then then at that point, the depumper does a pretty good job of uh, keeping things straightforward. That's my technique. It works for me. Uh, I'm just so I'm just so I'm getting you something mm -hmm. two at the bottom yeah. and two at the top. Yeah, it, it works when you're doing, you know, hill, valley, hill, valley, hill, valley. Right. right. So, um and that would those two are going to define your entire the entirety of the bottom of your drop. You still have extra vertices in place, so but that. Mm -hmm. ah! It wasn't that bad, even though it moved it in a strange place. Oop. There are also sometimes I won't worry about deep pumping. I'll just use the force comb to smooth it out and go from there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Actually, there's, yeah, there's a lot of different tools that you can use. A lot of different tricks, and no one trick is right or wrong. Oops, wrong one. That's the hard part for me is grabbing the right node sometimes. Yeah. So the red is bad. Red is bad. <laughs> I've learned. Red, red, red bad. Red bad, yes. All right. That's not too bad right there. All right, and I can depump these three here. Yeah. There. Hey. Hey. All right. Luke. Look at me right. getting stuff right. done. <laughs> uh, how much of an angle do you need for the the train to actually start moving forward off of a e stop? Uh, usually four degrees. It doesn't take much. Okay. Is there a way to measure that in the trigonometry? Oh. <laughs> 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 Maths. <laughs> Uh, I eyeball it, uh, just as long yeah. as it looks like it has a bit of a downhill slope. And the easy way to test it is you hit the e-stop while the train's in, on approach, let the train stop, release the e-stop, see if it rolls forward. And then if it's going to roll forward, you're good. Hmm. Should we give that the old Kyle's try? i got to sure. set it as a break, though, don't I? Intim said, um, it's also possible to add a crap ton of vertices to the section of track you want to depump. That way the depump moves each vertex less and it retains the shape better. Yeah, you can do that, especially when you are dealing with elements or custom elements. It's good to increase the amount of uh, uh, nodes i found. Hmm. Yeah, and that also helps if you're trying to thread a needle through somewhere. Uh, mm -hmm. Lots of tiny. You can't really let the... Yeah, you can't really let the depumper move things around too much. Uh, it, adding a lot more vertices will help kind of lock it into the same spot and keep it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, and then it's just a, it's just a matter of making sure that your looser vertices are connecting with your tighter vertices, so that you don't have some weird transition happening. Did I did I make it the right type? Oh, yeah, I did. Right, you made it a break. Yeah. Okay. What? Why isn't it? What do I so, go? What am I missing here? Okay, so right now it's set for a friction break, which is all you really need. Um, now there's a check, bar, check box that would uh, allow you to enable the transport device, uh, but you wouldn't want to do that on a block break typically. Okay. Because you won't find a B&M block break that has friction tires on it. Because again, they just it's easier to use gravity to pull the train off. Mm, right. So at this point now it's just a matter of setting the speed limit, um, the hysteresis, and the braking force that you would need. Uh, and then for that, you just kind of have to know how fast the train is coming in and determine if you want the block brake to slow it down at all. Okay, so, so it says the speed, speed comb. comb. Yeah. It says it's coming in at 22, which I'm not buying. So I find that it tends to be slower than it says, or at least it feels much slower than it says. 
22 is not that fast. No. Should I lower it even more? It's actually it hitting it like a. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. It's not too bad, and you can work, you can work with that. You know, if you want to have more of an injector pop of air before and after it, you just tighten the track there. Um, mm -hmm. The in twenty two isn't too bad. Um, yeah, I think it's it's probably fine for our purposes here. I feel like that's pretty normal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You you don't usually have a high. Well, it depends on the coaster. Like I'm, my reference is Raging Bull, and that goes. There's not much braking going on in the mid course brake run of that ride. Yeah, because yeah. the trim brakes have killed yes, the speed. Yes, they've on. destroyed it, yeah, 100%. 100%. Uh, that trim brake that's heading, I think it's up the um, second hill. Yeah, it's after the turnaround into the second hill. Yeah. yeah. You that, crawl. That one is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, you're falling out of the train to the inside on that next hill. It's, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Yeah, it's a little much. It's a little much. I'd love to ride that ride without any trim brakes on at all. I imagine it would be just spectacular. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. All right. Let's... Now, if you change your settings from shuttle to multiple train, you'll oh, yeah. be able to see the train sitting on that block and see if it's long enough to do so. Oh, I see. Closed circuit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, briefly addressing the what you guys were mentioning for the speed being a little bit off. Make sure uh, you add just... another train too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna have to add more trains. Derp just derp. to address that briefly, the uh, it, the speed comb is estimating what the speed is going to be uh, throughout the ride. Um, now, the reason why it might be off is when you have a longer train, it's going to react differently than a single point of uh, calculating the speed would be. Oh. Mm. So now I can right. shrink this, yes. or no, yes. not that. I can shrink the the the. The section type, yeah. There we go. So if you ever seen those uh, the coasters that have the really long, you know, thirty car trains like Jaguar or something like that, mm -hmm. you know, they they react differently in terms of speeding up and slowing down over hills because you know as the first eight cars of the train are over the front of the hill, the remaining twelve cars are still on the other side of the hill, meaning it's not really speeding up and going down there. Then right. even when you have twelve on one side, you still have eight on the other that are pulling the opposite direction. Hmm. This is actually something that No Limits simulates. Uh, each car has mass, and that mass, in conjunction to where it's located on the track, determines how quickly or slowly it's accelerating. So if you set up a really long train, you will see it behave differently going around the track mm -hmm. uh, than if you have a very short train. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's very interesting. Jaguar, yeah, Jaguar has, like, this pump where if you ride the back of the thing, you can see the... You can feel it being pulled over, and then you can feel the, the train slow down as it's trying to push the rest of the cars up a hill and then you're pulled again. So it's, it's, it's just more exaggerated push and pull. Hmm. Also takes longer to get up to full speed on that red. Yeah. What is the full speed of that red? 15? Yeah, it's probably in the 30 range. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a fine ride. It's great. I don't even know what it's ride you nice, guys are talking nice about. <laughs> it's a nice family ride. I just wish it didn't have a 48 inch height limit because it's not that intense. <laughs> it's not. But yet, it has 48 inch height limit. My little one isn't going to ride it for a long time. <sighs> My daughter is starting to be interested in coasters. I'm excited. Yay. Yay. I'm bummed they got rid of the fire effects in the temple, though. That was going on forever. I did one time get a ride on it uh, coming down the first drop into that helix leading into the temple, and the fire went off. Ooh, nice. Like yeah, by accident? They or? The with that. <laughs> No, it's supposed no, to happen. Just, it was it was yeah. an effect, but they didn't really plan for it to be used over and over and over and over and over again uh, for years. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, gave up on it. All right, let's ride it. Let's yeah. see what we got. Yeah, remember not to touch the fourth dough. No, I, I, yeah, I, I already, I figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what we got. So like in theater, don't break the fourth wall. Don't touch the fourth node. Yes. <laughs> So for the for the back half and uh, when we ride this, um, yeah, you got to kind of figure out what you want this thing to do now. I'm thinking just a bunch of bunny hills and then a turnaround into a brake run. <laughs> I just want to finish a coaster, wow. kind of, you know. You are exciting. I know. <laughs> well, that's kind of like Nitro and Apollo's Chariot. It's pretty much all they do. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's so, ride it. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, That's you're going to have problems. Uh -huh, uh, now Mike sees the issue. What's wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Should I just escape? You have the deadlock situation. So you need to yeah. turn all trains off. That was just oh, a yeah, test yeah, where yeah, the yeah, train yeah, was. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, sorry. No, sorry you're that. good. You're good. You're good. So one. 
<laughs> now, what were you saying about the twisting? So or right, that... Well, right now it's going to stop on the mid-course break when it gets there, and you'll get the deadlock alert when you go over the top of the lift because there's no brakes after the mid-course, so mm-hmm. there's no there's nowhere for the mid-course break to send the train oh, to. Oh, I get, I get it. So we should need to add some. Yeah. Yeah. Can add some, or or can it actually function if you just continue the shuttle mode? It it will, yeah, and you can you can go with that direction, or you can uh, just add some brakes there to see how it goes, how it leaves the uh, the block break, uh, the block break, yeah. Because I noticed when I did a pre lift bl- uh, break, it actually pulled the it pulled the car back. So when I had it set up as a uh, shuttle to test, mm-hmm. it it actually went into the block and then it pushed it right back out. Interesting. It's probably trying to, at that point, the brake is trying to center. And there's a, a function in there that will try to center the vehicle on the segment there in certain circumstances. Mm. I'd have to see it in action, though. All right. So there we go. All right. So let's try it now. Freeze. All right, here we go. Ooh. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Boy, it's almost been an hour already. I feel like we didn't get as much accomplished this time. Uh, you did. You think so? Yeah. Okay. As long as you feel. I mean, we'll see because you haven't really messed with your roll nodes at all. But no, we'll have to fix that a little bit. It might be a little twisty, twisty. I'll sit in the back this time. Always fun to speed time up. Yeah. Well, now, I've, now I've, I've noticed. Is there a way to um, have a variable lift? So typically, with like these rides, they start. They get you on the chain, um, and then they turn the, the lift up. Yeah, there's there we've uh, spoken about it. And it's kind of one of the features on our list to, to look at someday. Hmm. There's four specific speeds that you would want to set for that. One would be um, an idle speed, which could include being off. Some ghosters mm-hmm. do turn their lifts off at the, when they're not in use. Uh, some just crawl at a slow speed. There's an approach speed, so the train is on its way in. There is the running speed once the gate train is fully engaged on the lift, how fast it's going to go. And then there's the cresting speed, so that sometimes they slow down at the top. Sometimes, in rare occasions, they speed up. Yeah. Whee! Hey, that, that wasn't bad. Good. That wasn't bad. Hey, and it didn't crash. Hey. Yay. 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 Cool. All right. So we got to fix that uh, little turn there. <clears throat> I want to do that. <laughs> yeah, you got a, a little wibble. A wibble wobble over. Where is it? I don't even know oh, over here. All right. So, oh, another thing. How can I get to the back of the track, or do I have to ride the whole thing in this track view? So you to you want to just, uh, oh, you want to go to the other end of the track? Yeah. Go backwards, and you might pop to the end of the track. No. Nope. Okay. When it's a full track, you'd get, be able to go backwards I see. and get So I just have now. to do this. Yeah. Na, 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 this is where the other visual na, tools that you have help to... Uh, would help otherwise yeah so that most for the most part i i do understand the the critique that you can't test as easily uh because you do have to freeze the coaster to see how well it's going to perform you can let it run in wireframe you just wouldn't be able to write it so you could keep it in this mode and see the, the wireframe of the train run it full with the full physics you just watch it from off ride mm. uh so you could do that um but the idea is with all the various helping tools with the speed comb, G-Force comb, and everything like that, you can get a really good idea of how it's going to work so that you should have to test less often. Right. I guess the issue is for people who, for me, like who aren't, like when it comes to the, the combs and all that are great if you have a plan and you kind of know what you're doing. But I have to write it to know, does this feel the way I want it to? So Totally with you there. I do a lot of the same thing. So I think I want to do a go. second. So we're going to have some lats, and I want to know how to get rid of them. For that portion, it's going to be, yeah, you need to, you're still churning at that point, so you don't want to unbank all the way yet. You want to probably move the... Yeah, the, the problem is I want to be done right there. turning this one. Yeah, there's a weird little S bend yeah, going on right there. Yeah, I don't there, like dude. that. I, I want this yeah. whole thing, like... Well, this is where I, you know, you're, we're going to straighten this section of track out later, so and depump that turn. Uh, something else you have to work on is that the, this turn here does dig into the ground. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. That's, that's no that's big good. deal. <sighs> Can't I just m- manipulate the terrain? Yes, you yeah. can. All right, let's see. There you go. That's all I want. 
So I, I, I think I want to be out of the turn by about here. So I think that's, that's my big problem. Okay, so right there, whatever, probably the go back a little bit because I want to see that vertice, the last vertice. Um, oh, there's one right there that's hiding under the track. Yeah, I see it. that one. Yeah, so that will be the first of the anchor points that you're going to use to do the make straight 2D and then mm-hmm. go along. So place that about where you need it and then go find the neck, the end of your track mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. make sure that they're, that whole string is going to be parallel. It's just select everything and, and do a make straight 2D, see how you're doing. Oh, wrong button. Ah. <laughs> undo is wonderful, isn't it? I love undo, yes. You can actually undo freezing the track. Really? Really? Mm-hmm. Nope, you got an extra point there. Yeah. There you go. All right. I think the program's smart enough that it won't actually make that point straight along with the other ones because it's not part of a... Yeah. Contiguous. Hey. Yeah, it wouldn't give you uh, the no. Does it still? Is it still turning? Damn it. It's unbanking is what you're doing at the top. Ah. Oh, yeah. So I already want to be. Up. There. Oh. Right. Look you at got that. that a little more controlled now. Yeah. Now you can. Yeah. Now your entrance. That already feels a lot better. Yeah. Look at that. I don't mind that as much. And is it just like test and adjust with roll nodes, or do you have a, a space where you think that they should go? Like, is there a is there a rule? Uh, I'll let the guys on the forum chime in. My own personal technique is I just kind of test and adjust. And I'm I'm with John on this one. I'll go by feel and I'll mm-hmm. I'll write it out and I'll just kind of see how it goes. And I will not aim for perfect zero G's watching the G force combs. Uh, okay. I will just aim to make sure that. They visually they they're not out of control, and then it just feels and flows well. Oh yeah, my see that taste. I think that feels better. Yeah, it feels a lot better. I agree. So you had a little wibble wobble um, on the uh, curve leading into this curve, this this big curve that you've got here. Mm-hmm. So fix that little wibble wobble. Where's that? It's keep going, keep going. It's about right here. Oh yeah, I can see it right here. Yeah. This should be probably. And the radius comb only is looking at the radius of the track. It's not actually taking roll into consideration. Correct. It's only looking at the center line there. Okay. That feels better. Are there any other tools that we're not using? Well. That we should be using? <laughs> Those are the main ones. Okay. All right. Cool. For new folks that are coming into No Limits 2 and learning the, the track system, the, uh, the the big magic tools to learn how to use are uh, strict nodes to make sure you can get straight track, uh, make straight 2D. It's, it's just wonderful for lining things up mm-hmm. in a straight line, the other off axis. Uh, and then learning how to use the speed and G-force combs and the radius comb to visualize exactly what your track is doing. Interesting. Into M305 says, I always place my roll nodes as close to the vertices as possible. That way they stay relatively constant, and I found it eliminates more unnecessary forces when the roll is placed there. Ah, well, that's cool. I mean, for me, I know like, I always want them at the, you know, in the height and the, the, the whatever part of the curve, you know, and I have no idea what I'm doing talking about, so never mind. <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> though? Like, is, is that you can use the tools any way that that you get the result that you want and right. you'll figure, you'll figure out what is best for you. Mm-hmm. So I like that a lot. Uh, I do th- don't, I bit, 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 bit. I do think <laughs> I want to make it a little bit. Now that I've said it, I want, uh, you're right. I want to get it out of the ground. Okay. You can always dig into the ground there. BNM does that all the time. How do I not? I'd have to do that. How does one do that? So you can do that with terrain. All right. Well, let's do or that. you can move the nodes up, let's but if you if you dig too deep, you're gonna hit water. Really? But you can adjust that too. But you just you don't need much space. No. Yeah. Come oh. on, John. Brave new world. Let's play in the dirt. <laughs> Where's my coaster? All right. So. All right. Here I am. Um. All right. Okay. Boop. So if you hit the train tool. Terrain. The terrain tool kind of works like a brush, except that it is looking at all points of the terrain itself. Mm-hmm. Um, 
so if you go to your one point influence, that's your brush size. Yeah. So try to change that to like 16. Okay. And move your, that is going to be your intensity. So move that down to like 0.1. This? Uh-huh. Okay. And then hit modify markers. Uh, ah, modify at the bottom. Markers, yeah. And then go over into your space uh-huh. and you'll see that, oh, yeah. Oh, cool. So I'm at auto smooth. What does that mean? Oh, it'll just, it won't, I got it, I got it. It won't just take chunks out. As you try and pull up, it's also going to try and smooth out the, so the I rest can of the pull. terrain. Oh, look at that. Well, that, oh, there's water. Water. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. You can move the water table. All right. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's actually kind of cool to skim along the water. <laughs> that's neat. Sculpting that's terrain neat. is actually a lot of fun. Yeah. It's neat. It's like nature. Cool. Uh, how do I get rid of the water? Uh, I believe it is terrain in terrain settings. settings. Yeah. Water. Change and height. Height. Uh, it should. <laughs> height map scan. <laughs> Can't see it. <laughs> hmm. Density. It's not density. Um, it is. Do 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 do. It's not that. What the hell is it? Is it an environment? I think it's an environment. Uh, or uh, advanced. Advanced? Environment no, editor? Mm. Maybe it's not that. Crap. Never mind. It's fine. We'll have it be in water for go, a while. The, no, go, back to, go back to terrain. Um, Select wrecked. Try, <laughs> sorry. Try set height. No, set height's going to take no. all... No, that's, yeah, that's not what you want. Uh, I'm going to dive in here and see where it is. I know there's a... It's under terrain generator. Try hitting that. Yeah, try hitting... Water. No, that's the percentage. That's the percentage. That's, then don't hit that because it's going to... This is... <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. That's going to randomly generate terrain. That's not what you're looking for. No, 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 <laughs> no Dive in no, and no. Yeah, find the tool. Yes. All right. I remember doing this a long time Set ago. Height? No. And I can't remember the heck it is. What's uh, density mean? Density means like how um how much you can see through the water uh, before it I completely see, I goes see, opaque. I see, I see. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll leave that for another day. <laughs> I'll let you oh, I'll let God. you guys do some research. So, all righty. I think next time we might be able to finish the layout. Oh, that's right. The water table is locked. It's always at zero height, but you can change the, the height, height of, of the, the terrain, terrain. Ah. and then move the coaster up that same height. Ah, okay. So in order to avoid that, we'll have to make everything higher. So, yeah, just just set your height up 10 feet. Of the coaster? Of the coaster, yeah. How do I do that? It's like the whole thing. And, your prop- okay. and coaster properties. Coaster properties. Uh, sorry, it was not. It was move coaster. Move coaster. Yep. Ah, why? Move Y, ten feet. Fifteen. 15. <laughs> and then uh, go back to terrain and set your whole terrain height at fifteen. Terrain settings. No, set height. Set, oh, height. set height at fifteen. Yep. Ah, okay. I mean, that makes sense. So now, now here's what I want to do. Yeah. If I set it at 10, there'd be no need to dig out then. But then I would also. Right. But I want to do that. So, okay. Neat. All right. There you go. Well, there you go. I learned something again. We all learned something again. Yay. We only get yeah, I thought half that the you battle. could change the water height, but uh, yeah, I no. may be remembering no limits one then, because uh, I, I remember being able to do it too. But yeah, now you can carve down in the. the hey, look at that! So every time you move something, it's also additive. It's not. It's not in in absolute space. It's in relative space. So you just moved it another fifteen feet higher. Moved what another fifteen feet higher? Your oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong. <laughs> Never mind. You're good. God, when I look at your stream, it's like, oh, I'm, 
<laughs> and then we'll get into supports and all sorts of fun stuff. You're going to love supports. Ooh, I'm sure I'm going to absolutely love them. If I had to yeah, guess. Copy, yeah. Copy oh, paste are... feature is quite nice. Yeah, the, 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 we have a bunch of prefab supports that are that automatically shaping. Super easy to use. Kind of figure mm -hmm. out what kind of support you need, add them in there. If you need to stretch out the base to fit around other track, you, it's, once you have it in place, you have the right size, you atomize it, move the footers, and you're done. It's so fast, so easy. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's give it one more ride as a uh, finale to this live stream. All right. Woo -woo. Let's, let's pick a different seat this time, though. Okay. And that's the V? Yeah, V. So T is train, C is car, V is seat. Okay. So do and we want to be e in the front row or what? All your different cameras. Yeah, let's be in the front row. Let's be on the uh, far left. Okay. That's the way I'm going to lean. To the far left. So when you get in the sim, they've got a flyby. Um, uh, is it called the flyby camera? Oh, I've been looking at all those different it's cameras. Level. Is it E to cycle through the cameras? E to cycle through. Yeah, I like those. Those are cool. All right, here we go. Woo. Yeah. I like being able to actually see some coaster now. <laughs> it's nice. This is actually coming together. I'm excited. Uh. I had my opportunity to play anything I wanted this afternoon, and I decided to build a No Limits. Like, who would have said that three weeks ago? Who would have thought that? <laughs> Excellent. My plan is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your Roundup 200 video. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, that was a little funky there. We'll have to fix that. Yeah. yeah. But this is much better. I love that flow. I do. Ooh, I do good. too. And then you get it right after with that. That's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. It's neat. I actually think I want to turn up the uh, speed on that break. So there you go. All right. Nice. Yay. All right. Well, thanks so much, Right Up, for stopping by and hanging out with us. Learned some cool tricks and features. Woo. No problem. Happy to help. Yeah, great. You're very close to having a complete coaster. I know. Look, it's right there. There's the station. <laughs> I'm so close. I can get there. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, um, uh, breaks would release. <laughs> Gem Knight, this is not Mass First Coaster. Don't worry. It's my second ish. 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 So. Ish. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. All righty, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And it will be up to rewatch once it's done processing. So thanks for hanging out with Woo. us. And we'll see you for the next live stream. Bye bye. See ya.